Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Unix. In today's tutorial we are going to see the topic around shell programming. In previous session we have seen the few of the operations how to deal with the arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and modulus. In today's tutorial we are going to see some more logical operators. So let's start. As we know there are various operations involved in Unix such as arithmetic operations, relational operation, boolean operation, string operation, file test operation. So in today's tutorial we are going to see the relational operations or relational operators. We have the equal that is eq. It checks if the value of two operands are equal or not. If yes, then the condition becomes true. And a checks not equal conditions or operations. It checks if the value of two operands are equal or not. If values are not equal, then condition becomes true. GT stands for greater than. It checks if the value of the left operand is greater than the value of right operand. If yes, then the condition becomes true less than it checks if the value of left operand is less than value of right operand if yes then the condition become true ge stands for greater than or equal it checks if the value of left operand is greater than or equal to the value of right operand if yes then condition become true less than equal it checks if the left value of left operand is less than or equal to the value of right operand. If yes, then the, the condition become true. And right hand side we have captured the example. So you have to use rectangle bracket open space the input variable first space hyphen eq space dollar b the b here stand for the second variable space rectangle bracket close and the same line we have the other examples here is a sample example and we'll see in detail in demo let's start demo on this topic so in order to demonstrate about the relational or logical operators we have created few examples let me list here the logical operator one two Three. These are the shell script we have created for this demo. Let's open logical operator 1.sh and we'll see. So we are just here checking. We are actually assigning value val1 as 100, val2 as 50. And we are checking whether the val1 is equal to, to val2 or not. If val1 and val2 are both are equal, then it will return the result as a equal otherwise it will return not equal very simple and straightforward but make sure you are not using the greater than symbol it's a like hyphen eq so it it works as a two equal to sign which we saw in the our previous session so let me run this so as we know we pass 150 value which are not equal values that is the reason the output we can see is values are not equal let's see more interesting little more interesting examples so in this example we are first checking three conditions not equal check we are checking greater than check and also we are checking less than check of course if you have noticed the value 1 and value 2 we are passing as an argument so that is the reason dollar 1 will be the first argument dollar 2 will be the second argument and we are storing those argument values in value 1 and value 2 respectively let's check how to check for not equal condition here we are using if rectangle bracket open space value 1 hyphen n e that is not equal value 2 so we are checking here the first value is not equal value 2 if it is true then it will means if the if the both values are different then it will print values are not equal 
but assume that the condition where the both value p are passing the same value it will print the values are equal what will happen with the case greater than check suppose the value 1 is greater than value 2 then hyphen gt will check that condition and it will tell us value 1 is greater than value 2 otherwise it will print value 1 is not greater than value 2 less than check it is a reverse case of greater than so if the value 1 is not greater than that means value 1 is less than so that in that sense so here but for checking instead of using uh, gt we are using lt lt stand for less than value 1 less than value 2 if that is the condition true it will print value 1 is less than value 2 if that is not the case then it will print value 1 is not less than value 2 so let's run few examples on this so if you remember we have to pass some values so i will first pass input value 200 first value is 200 and second value is 100 let's see what it gives so you can see the both values are not equal that is the reason the first condition gave us the not equal here the first value is greater than the second value that is the reason it print value is great value 1 is greater than value 2 that's correct the less than condition value 1 is not less than value 2 so it printed properly now let's revert the values instead of 200 i will use 300 so the second value will be higher than the first value so in that case the first condition again it is correct because both values are not same so values are not equal value 1 is not greater than value 2 so in the previous example you can see value 1 is greater than value 2 but it prints now value 1 is not greater than value 2 and in previous example we saw the value 1 is not less than value 2 but here it we can see value 1 is less than value 2 and this is the this is the way we are actually uh, getting the values now but there is one condition what will happen the both values will be same to this greater than and equal to or greater uh, less than equal uh, for greater than and less than so if you notice the the values are equal because that is the first condition we gave and it is correct but the greater than symbol that is hyphen gt greater than is somehow it's not working properly it says value 1 is not greater than value 2 as both values are same this uh, this statement is not appropriate because both are equal value 1 is not less than value 2 so it is actually going to the else loop because it first check whether it's really greater than or not or really less than or not if it is not then it is going to the next loop or the else condition so in order to handle such scenario we have the greater than equal to or less than equal to condition and that we are going to demonstrate in the next example here and for that we have created logical operator 3 so if you notice this example again we are getting the input from uh, the argument what are we are going to pass to the command line value 1 stores the first argument value 2 stores the second argument here we are checking two conditions greater than and equal check less than and equal check here we are passing the value 1 which is we stored from the argument which will be passing then we are checking greater than or equal to with the value 2 and space rectangle bracket close if value 1 is greater than or equal to value 2 it will print true condition that is value 1 is greater than or equal to value 2 else that means if value 2 is greater suppose value 1 and value 2 both are same again it will print value 1 is greater than or equal to value 2 if value 2 is greater then it it is not satisfying condition so it will go into the else loop and it will print value 1 is not greater than or not equal to value 2 so there is some typo i can correct it quickly greater than or equal to else condition greater than or not greater than or not equal to so 
on the same line we have the less than condition less than and equal check here what we are doing um, we are comparing value 1 with value 2 by using LE operator and it checks value if the value 1 is less than value 2 or both values are same then it will print value 1 is less than or equal to value 2 if the value 2 is less than value 1 in that case it will print value 1 is not less than or not equal to value 2 so let's see how it works so as we know this is, we need to pass the argument so let's first pass the higher value and then the second is lower value so it correctly prints value 1 is greater than or equal to value 1 which is the true condition value is not less than or not equal to value 2 which is the false condition from the second uh, logic so it is printing correctly let's alter the values I'll make 400 here so it says value 1 is not greater than or not equal to value 2 well uh, or the second logic value 1 is less than or equal to value 2 which is the true for the the second logic which is working fine let's check with the equal values what will happen if we pass the equal values again it is printing correct answer so it is giving the correct response value 1 is greater than or equal to value 2 that is true statement also for the second block we are getting value 1 is less than or equal to value 2 it is also printing correct response so by this way can, we can conclude we can use the logical operator in order to achieve the business logical concept or business logical implementation I hope this tutorial is going to help you to understand how to use the operators in the Unix thank you for watching my video if you have any questions or queries you can mention the comment section of this video thank you again and have a nice time